This is James with you on Drive Time, but it's not just me. I'm joined by a very, very special guest, internationally renowned, yet still somehow remains underground and loves it, and everybody embraces him for it. Andrea <laughs> Oliva, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Man, it's a blessing. It's a pleasure to have Thank you. you. How, was, uh, how was your trip over to the UAE? My trip? Yeah, kind of relaxed. Good. Yeah, yeah. Very I'm good. used to, you know traveling and all the stuff so yeah man of course easy of course easy. you're always touring and and performing everywhere so that's got to be something you're used to by now uh i got a question before we get into uh, interview Ask stuff me. how tall are you man oh i don't know because <laughs> i feel like you're taller than me and i'm, oh, I'm yeah. a pretty tall dude so I, it was just like crazy to see like oh my gosh someone actually taller than me really yeah okay. i never had the question i don't know i don't know actually we're gonna measure later and okay we let, we'll do it we we'll do a contest know. perfect yes. <laughs> all right now uh andrea oliva you are a like i said a staple in dance music uh especially in the underground scene and you have a really insane work ethic what is something that you would say just one thing that keeps you grounded and keeps you going something that i mean how do you do it how do you manage all of it um if it's one thing then it must be passion you know passion passion gives me uh, all the drive, all the motivation to, you know, having um, days and days without sleeping, mm -hmm. eating properly and just touring. And, you know, I just I love what I do. And this is what keeps me motivating, like all the passion I put into uh, my my work, which isn't really work at the end of the day. You know, Right. You don't feel like you're working. No, I'm not feeling. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, does it uh, does it ever take a toll on you? Do you ever have to like step back and be like, "Yo, I need a couple days off." Oh yes, I usually do um, um, some vacation in January. Okay. Yeah. So I have my two weeks where I visit um, the Swiss mountains. Right. And right. This is pretty much relaxing me like a lot. Good. So yeah, this is what I do normally, yeah. Okay, cool. So you're from Switzerland. Um, I want to ask you about something that I read about you. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about these bandits parties. How oh, old wow. were you, first of all? Um, well, you know what? I started when I was 13. So very DJing. young. Yeah, DJing. Very okay. young, yeah. And we started throwing our bandits parties back in Switzerland um, when I was maybe 17, 16. Okay. Yeah. And I really, I had the chance to play with all the big stars back then. You know, right. all those uh, big US house guys. And I was just a kid. That's crazy. Yeah. And I worked in a record distribution. We had record stores. So I was the one with the freshest music. You know, they, they used to come from the, from the United States to Switzerland to hear me playing uh, the newest sound. <laughs> that must have been such a nice feeling though. To... Maybe weird for them because I was like just a kid playing house music. Right, right. But still amazing though. And it was you yes. and uh, and a friend of yours that were doing I, those parties. Yes. Right. Okay. Very cool. Um, and then another thing that I thought was really cool was this year actually in Ibiza, you um, you did a back to back with Pete Tong. Um, well, actually, I, I work with Pete since quite uh, a long time. He's uh, been a very uh, big supporter of my music. Mm. And we also did a compilation together. We mixed the last uh, All Gone Pete Tong compilation together. Right. And um, well, what to say, he's like a music pioneer, you know, for, for electronic music. He's really someone who, um, who can open doors in territories where our kind of music is not that big. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, as I said, he's very supportive and I love him as a human being. Yeah. And when you have like such a chemistry with, uh, with another uh, artist, then you go instantly back to back. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> yes. Very cool. Well, um, one, that brings me to, to another point is, you know, the way you say that Pete Tong kind of takes people under his wing, he embraces them and stuff like that. Uh, you seem to do that as well when it comes to how dance music changes and evolves over the years. Uh, so we're going to get a taste tonight at Soho Garden uh, at your performance of, you know, what Andrea Oliva has for us in 2018. But my point that I want to get to is not everybody embraces change when it comes to any musical genre. What is it about you that that, I mean, tells you, you know what? No, I'm cool with it. Bring the change on. You know, the thing is, um, you have to be open for different kind of music for um you know, for like, I, I don't follow hypes, but what I follow is the evolution of music. 
especially when it comes to electronic dance music, which is not the biggest part of the Kagan music industry. Mm. So um, I like the fact that um, our kind of world, like the underground kind yeah. of um, uh, sound, is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, it's not commercial yet, but it's very popular. Um, you see the evolution in Ibiza, which I like. You know, you have like, it's it's a mix between clubbers and um, just people who go out to have fun. Right. And they start to accept our music. They start to uh, consume our music and they start to love our music. So um, um, every time we have a change in our world, like musically speaking, it's a step forward. Yeah. And, you know, I'm I'm someone who um, who likes like um, futuristic kind of uh, a futuristic kind of vision, you know. Okay. Okay. Is Ibiza your favorite place to perform? It's it must be one of my favorite places. Okay. Of course, Ibiza is a place which gave me a lot. You know, I have my yeah. my my aunt's parties mm -hmm. there. It's it's the island which opened um, doors for me. You know, because um, during those four or five summer months, like the whole industry is watching what's happening in Ibiza and what's coming next. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I love Ibiza, but I love also South America. South America. Yeah, I love South America. Really? I'm in love with South. Yeah, playing in South America is something very special for me. And um, but beside this, um, I love playing in territories where I have zero expectations, and okay. then it turns out like very positive. Okay. And um, I like this kind of challenge. So like somewhere you've never been or you don't know, you, maybe like you're not sure how many fans you have exactly. there. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. There's, there's always a, a surprise ready yeah. when you play those places. Yeah. Yeah. And it brings you also like a level of uh, like a, a positive level of anxiety that I think maybe helps you to perform even better, you know, and just put yes. the best into your into your craft. That's awesome. Uh, and then I have one question that I like to ask everybody here. Uh, Andrea Oliva, if I were to tell you right now that there's a DJ that's gonna walk through this door into the studio. Now this DJ can be anybody you've never worked with before, but you really want to. Who would you choose it to be? Oh, wow. Um, just one? <laughs> uh, it, it can be two or three if it's like a duo or a group. But yeah, one one DJ or producer. Okay, so it must be um, James Holden. James Holden. Yeah. Okay. Then Carl Cox. Carl Cox. Uh huh. And um, David Morales. David Morales. So I have someone from each genre. Yeah. And uh, the mix could be quite quite interesting. That would be yeah. interesting, yeah. especially if all four of you got together. Exactly. <laughs> hey, if you guys are listening, man. He's ready for it. All right, Andrea Oliva, thank you so much for stopping by. It's a pleasure. By. Thank you. It's great to have you here at Dance FM. And of course, we are super stoked for tonight at Soho Garden. Please. Be there for Thursdays at Soho. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. See you there, man. All right, see you. Thanks for having me. Bye.